Okay, pilots. I got my Admiral 600 gyro receiver in. Matter of fact, I ordered two of them from Motion RC today. So we're going to see if we can get this thing set up here. It's my free wing F-35. Now this, this jet does not have flaps. Okay. So the way I set those admirals up is you go into the flaps and you change a, a few things here and you make this positive 150 and you're not, you know, you're going. But I don't, didn't have to do that on this. But I don't know if that's going to affect the on and off switch of the gyro setup because you don't set up the flaps. So I might have to go in and set up flaps when the jet ain't even got flaps. So we just got to see what happens here. So this is what we got here. Okay. Now, our wires is all nicely labeled and all coming up from underneath the battery tray. The fossil wood piece of fossil wood they got in there, put your battery in. I've got a 5,000 sitting in here right now. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll need that much or not. I got to check the CG and all that. I just got it sitting in here to use it to test everything, plug everything up. Let me get this open. Comes with its own little bind plug. Okay. Now, what we've got to do, we've got to do a few things here to the receiver before we put power to it. Okay. Uh, I've tried to do this before, pilots. Tried to show you these little switches and stuff and dials. So we're gonna try it again. Little dials down here at the bottom is your gain controls. Switches up here at the top is your wing type and your correction direction controls reversing okay now on the back side it tells you all the setups for normal wing v v wing you know flapper arms stuff like that you, you you put them switches to it okay to on and off 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 on on off whatever it says there but they're kind of small, so I, I have to get a magnifying glass to look at it and, and get it. But they, the word on is over here on this side of those switches. So when the switch is turned this way, it's on. When it's turned the other way, it's off. You got to remember that. You just got to look hard in that corner and you'll see on. So we've got to take J4 and J5 and switch them to on and leave six off, J6 off. That's a normal wing setup. And you gotta take something pretty short, like a hobby knife or a owl, something like that, to get in there and get that little switch. Got them two switches over so that it should see if it'll come in for note the switches if I can get some light on it here. Note the switches the second two are up and the rest of them are all down. That's the way a normal wing is set up. Now that might be different for you. V V wing might be different for flapperon, see. Okay, now all I want to do right now is put power to my receiver. So we're gonna plug our throttle into port number one. 
but I believe the first one is that gun. I'm gonna have to get that magnifying glass box. I tell you what, I don't know what were they thinking up there. Okay. The first port, this is your first port. Yeah. This is the first port up here at the top. Okay. I can't, I can't see nothing without this light pointing at me. At the top up here is the first port, but that's a bind port. So we got to stick it into the next one because on this receiver number one channel is your throttle channel. So checking our polarity, putting our signal wire to the front here of this receiver. We'll plug that into, well, if I had to sit there and put it in the bind plug, I'd sit in. <laughs> put it in the second one, second port, and then you take the bind plug that is <clears throat> supplied, and you put it in that bind, and then you got to find, oh my goodness, have I got, oh my goodness, I, I, have I got another bind plug around here somewhere? Oh my goodness, uh oh, wait a minute, there's, there's 10 there, right there. Okay, you got another bind plug. Now, the other bind plug kind of goes strange. It goes strange on us in there into the receiver. It goes into the first three pins of the last three ports diagonally. We gotta make sure we put that in the right. So it's gonna pretty much look like this. And then we simply gonna plug in a battery. Yep, just plug in the battery. And we've got a blue light on and we've got a green light on and, a, and it switches to a red light. Green light, it switches to a red light. So we've got to take something sharp and push this button, let's see, and get those lights blinking over here. And that button is right beside this blue light. We got to hold it down, get that lights are blinking. All right, now it's in program mode. Now that solid green light means that that's simply a receiver now. No, no gyro, no stabilization. We push that button again, and we get two lights burning, a green and a red light burning. So that means the gyro has complete gyro switched on and off. Now if I push that button again, it would go to another program to where you could turn stability on and off. Just stability on and off. Okay, so there we go. We got our receiver program to where I can turn a gyro on and off. Complete recovery. Now we're gonna leave that bind plug in. The bind plug, not the strange one. And then like I was saying, the, all you servo leads is kind of right here, sticking out from under that battery bay. All labeled, what we got here first. We got a rudder, all right. We got aileron, aileron, aileron! That's what we want first, aileron. That goes next to the throttle. And I've already got my radio set up if you'll go back a couple of videos, I set up a B-17 bomber. I believe I set my Trojan up there, showed you how to do it all on a DX-8E. Now, it could be different on other ones, I don't know, Carl. It seems like when I would watch a, a video on somebody doing something like that, I would do it on my DX-8E, and it just wouldn't work the way they would, they would do it. So, I had to just come up with my own elevator and they got that elevator and a big old piece of shrink wrap there. I wonder what was up with that. How in the world is that lead going to bend 
and that canopy come down with that two inches of shrink wrap over the top of a servo lead. What in the world? How am I going to do this? Why did they do that for me? What in the world? Hmm. I hope you can see that pile. But that's going to be sticking straight up in the air and my canopy is going to come down on that. Checking my player to make sure my signal is pointed toward the writing on the receiver. Putting my elevator in. This is correct, sir. Elevator. Now we're going with rudder. Checking our polarity with the signal lead, the yellow lead pointing toward the right and the knobs and switches on the receiver. We got our rudder in. Gear. Where is the gear? There is the gear because the gear, ladies and gentlemen, pilots all around the world, has the LEDs for the F 35 hooked into it on a wire harness so that my landing lights will switch on and off when I turn, when I switch my landing gear up and down. If I can get all this stuff out of the way and get it untangled here. With my signal lead pointing toward the front of the receiver. Okay. So that leaves me channel six. Correct? What do I need for channel six? Well, I need my cockpit lights. Because my cockpit lights is not on the box for the LEDs. And for right now, pilots, I'm not going to put the two-sided tape on the receiver stick down because I get to see if this thing's gonna even shut with all this this big old piece of shrink wrap on the top of this servo lead. I, I I'll bet you I'll have trouble with that pilot. That's where somebody's made a repair on that lead. You wait and see. You wait and see. But I'm gonna check and see if this is shut down here first. We have 5,000 sitting there, 5,000 pilots, 5,000 Admiral. Okay, it's hitting, it's hitting my ring burn control board. Let's put that there. Oh, heck. Let's plug these lights in. Let's go ahead and get it done. Checking our polarity for sure on LEDs, pilots. You don't want to mess up that polarity on LEDs. Your red lead is going to be in that center pin on the port. And the black lead is going to line up with the bottom pin. Don't. I don't know if sticking it into the signal, putting a ground in the signal and red into the middle would blow the LEDs, but I know switching that black and red will. <laughs> You don't smell smoke, but them lights don't last too long. <laughs> of course, pilots, I mean, some of them, like them FMS lights that I use, they have a built-in resistor in them, and you can plug it into anything. It don't matter what. You could probably put it in a 12-volt battery out of a truck, and the thing wouldn't blow. But if you get that polarity wrong, it will. Okay, that's shutting pretty good right there, Bob. But I can tell already something right now already. Already. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna have to put my antenna or something right here, pilots. Just gonna have to. Got to have something to get a hold of to get that canopy up. Come on, free wing. Don't make me use my fingernail to dig the paint off of the thing and get the canopy up. Come on, man. Alright, pilots, here we go. We're gonna plug this up. I got my bind plug in. We should start getting a bind ring in here get my DXAD pushing the button turning it on binding my 
I'm, a, I'm a complete binding right now. All righty. All righty. Let's see what we got here. Now, my, my rods are not connected, so my surfaces are not going to move. I just want to get my, my servo centered. And then we're going to do this. Oh, I got my throttle cut off. Okay, okay. Okay, let me hold this thing here a second, it pops. Because I did not plug up my, <clears throat> my ring burner. So, let me do that. Let me do that, because that's kind of, that's tricky, pilots, that's tricky. It's very tricky. Oh, got, got my gyro, got my gyro going there. Listen, listen. But plugging these dadgum things up, pilots, oh my God. you got to line up that last black lead. Do not line up your red lead. Line up the last black lead with the black lead that's on the plug, okay? Make sure here, checking my polarity, lining up the black lead with the last black lead. No smoke, no smoke, no smelling, no smoke. My light's on. Oh, thank God. Pilots, I've burned up maybe two of them making that mistake. It was my mistake. I mean, it's on the instructions. I got in big black bold writing. <laughs> I just don't know. It just happens, I tell you, it just happens. <laughs> oh, stop it. Jerking, 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 jerking. All right, pilots, let's move back here to the back. Let me get this phone unplugged. Let's leave it on Zoom. So I don't know, I'm gonna be able to Kind of turn the throttle up a little bit, pilots, but I'm not going to be able to hold this thing, that's for sure. That's for sure, because I'm going to have to hold the phone. Okay, there we go, pilots. Check that out. That's my first look at it, too, pilots. I want you to look at it. Is all my, is all my lights working? Yep, yeah, all of them's working, too. You wait to that furry booty. Look at that. Look at that motor sitting right there. You wait to that furry booty is on that motor, too. Oh, my God. So let me hit the throttle hill there a little bit and get it going. Let's see, I won't get you in, in shot. I'm sitting here kneeling down. She about took off with me. Huh? 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 Oh my God. Check out the lights, pilots. The lights! Oh my God, the lights! Okay, pilots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see something's wrong. Oh, don't tell me my dead gun. My landing lights ain't sequenced with the landing gear, doggone it. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yep. There they go. Okay. Okay. That coming. I'm gonna have to reverse my landing gear, pilots. That coming. That coming. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Let's see here. Let's check this out, pilots. Oh my God. Let me let me get out of zoom. With, I'm, I'm blinding you here. I'm blinding you. having to look through a screen through a tripod clamp <laughs> trying to find you <laughs> where are you at okay you got that red light background it don't strobe I, did, I didn't want it to strobe but I wanted them to strobe 
And just look at those wing lights, Father. Just look at that. Just look at that. Look at there. You can see my ring burner. Because I've got the, oh my goodness. Yep. I had the cover off. <laughs> I forgot about that, folks. Oh my God. No wonder it wasn't pushing the plane so much. It's probably blowing out the bottom. I was going to have a hovering, hovering F 35 hour every one minute, wasn't I? <laughs> Oh, okay, pilots. There's my F-35. I got to get push rods on. I've got servo centered now. Got to reverse. Let's see. Let me do that. Let me do that next, pilots, after the video. I got to reverse them gear before I forget it. I'm out.